Okay, this is question eight, the last question from January 2022. And as you can see, it's a vectors question. It's a big vectors question. We know there's gonna be some complicated parts to it, but let's just make a start. So read it out for yourself. Um, I'll do part A. So for part A, it tells me that a ship is moving with that velocity and it tells me where it starts off from. So I always draw a quick sketch. You don't necessarily need to do this, but just helps me explain it to myself when I'm doing this bit, that what we've got, it's not an accurate sketch, just I know it starts off at that point there where that's 13, five and it's going at 3i minus 10j all that information is given to me in the question so if i'm going to do my r r is equal to r naught plus vt so r is going to be equal to r naught is the original position so that's 13i plus 5j the velocity is 3i minus 10j all multiplied by t. So that's the answer, done. You can tidy it up if you want to and make it in terms of 13 plus 3ti and 5 minus 10tj, but I leave it like that at the moment because I know I'll get marks for just doing that part there. Part B says we've got another ship um, which moves with a constant velocity 15i plus 14j and that starts off at 3i minus 5j. There's the speed, there's the point that that starts off at. So I can just as quickly then, I'm gonna call that RA now, so that if I wanna do RB, R is equal to R naught plus VT again. So RB, following on from exactly the same idea, is gonna give me 3i minus 5j plus 15i, plus 14j, not four, plus 14j times t. Okay, so I've got RA and RB, and then what they're interested in is where AB is after t hours. So really quickly, not even something I'm gonna keep here, but if I've got A and B here, if I'm trying to work out AB, AB, is always minus a plus b. So from that, I don't write any of that down, I can say a b is going to be equal to r b minus r a. And I can just chuck all that stuff straight in. So what have I got? I'll use my iPad here to save myself a bit of time. I've got that thing. minus that thing. Now if I am gonna do that, I just need to be a little bit careful if I am doing that, that it's minus here, it's minus there as well, isn't it? So when I'm actually doing that, let's just make that minus that, minus that. So that's A, B. So AB is gonna work out to be, tidying that all up, minus 10i, minus 10j, plus 12ti, plus 24tj. And at this stage, even though I didn't do it for the last one, I am now gonna make that how many i's and how many j's. It's 12t minus 10i, and it's 24t minus 10 J when I'm looking at those. So that's A, B, done. They've asked me to show it's equal to that anyway, so even if I hadn't, I've got to do that. Part C, now this is a standard thing to do. So even though this looks a bit complicated, once I've shown it to you once, you're aware of this and this will come up in, in other papers here. Find the shortest distance between the two ships means, find the shortest length of AB. Well, if I want to find the length of AB, I'm going to use Pythagoras. Okay, so I'm going to say AB squared is equal to 12, 10, 12T minus 10 squared 
plus 24t minus 10 squared. So I can get something for AB squared. I can multiply this all out. It's going to give me 144t squared minus 240t plus 100. And the other one is 576 squared, 576t squared minus 480t plus 100. Let's tidy all that up. You've obviously got to be really careful when you're going through and doing all this algebra, just to make sure you don't make any silly mistakes as we're going through and doing it. So when I get to that then, what I can say now, and this is a lovely method that we can use that means I don't need to find, if I want to find the maximum distance, anytime I want to find the maximum distance, I just differentiate and put equals to naught. Well, I'm allowed to do that for AB squared, just as I would be allowed to do it for AB. So the maximum distance is when differential is equal to naught. If you want to call it y equals, if you want to say, you could say y equals that. So you could then say dy by dt is equal to naught. That's absolutely fine if you want to. I might not go the whole hog with that, but I'll at least say dy by dt is equal to. So differentiate my function, which is 1440t minus 720. Now to differentiate, put that equals naught. 1440t minus 720 equals naught. t works out to be equal to a half. Well, that's a really useful value to get. I think I'm on the right lines when I get something like that. I actually want the distance, so I've got to put that back in to my formula. So AB squared is equal to 12 lots of a half minus 10. Tied up those brackets squared plus 24t minus 10 squared so that would all give me a b squared works out to take your time and do it but sticking all those values in works out to be equal to 20 but here's where we do now need to say yes i can differentiate a b squared but actually i'm interested in a b as being that minimum distance so we go back and we do the square root of that one there. So really powerful. Make sure you've seen that sort of thing before because it can come up. Part D then. What does part D say? Part D says find the bearing of the ship B from A when they are the closest. So they want to find the bearing when T equals a half. So when T equals a half, let's work out what the vector AB looks like when T equals a half. So AB put a half in for the I, put a half in, sorry for the T, put a half in for the I to work out the I one, put a half in to work out the J value. That works out to be minus four I plus two J and then we know how to do these, we've done these before, minus four i plus two j, just combine a quick sketch, relatively accurate with the work that we're gonna do. That's what minus four i plus two j looks like, and the bearing will actually be that angle all the way around there. I'm not gonna do that yet, I'm just gonna work out the only thing I can work out which is alpha there. Tan alpha equals a half, which means that alpha works out to be 26.6 degrees. And then as I said, the bearing, just do it in a different color. The bearing then is always measured from the north in a clockwise direction. So in this case, that's just a matter of adding uh, bearing equals 270 added on to 26.6 which means 296.6 but we're going to call that 297 degrees okay hopefully that makes sense for the uh, question eight